Hey, welcome to X3, the show with one topic and three pundits. I'm John C. Dvorak. I'm here with Joe Engo and Andrew Eisner to discuss the speed of light lingers in face of a new camera. Joe's a big, is a jacked up about this story. The camera, this is a new camera that does one trillion frames per second. It's a tiny really? bit misleading on how it works, but it is really fascinating either way. So basically this camera is set up in front of you know a series of objects, and then they shoot these beams of light across it. And then what they do is they use a camera to capture each individual time frame as it goes on. It takes several hours to actually do this, but what happens is it'll sh in the video it's pretty awesome because you'll see like an apple and like a, a wall, and you can actually see the light moving across very slowly like this. And they're saying it'll help them study, you know, I how... I saw this in a Woody Allen movie, when the sun comes up and then the beam of light hits the ground and lights yeah. up the street. Yeah, uh -huh. essentially that, but... Super, saying that this, this gives slow motion a new name, I mean... So what is yeah. this camera really doing? Can it stop a... If you shot a bullet, it would take the picture, or did you have to well, shoot can a already bullet do that. many times? Yeah. Well, no, they can already do that with other cameras. I mean, that's not... This is, this is for studying light. This is, has so a very this is specific a misleading use case. story. It's a slightly, slightly. misleading story, you, but either slightly. way, it's a time lapse of showing light moving across, you know, a field. Because I mean, the light's going to operate the same way every time, or at least you assume. But this is a good way to actually study how light interacts with objects and, hmm. and how it reflects and how you know. Well, actually, they say that it's going to make some for some advancements in you know medical imaging. You'll be able to have portable. CT scanners and things like that, but you know everybody sort of when you say super slow motion you go back to um, Who was it the guy the professor was it MIT that did that famous slow motion shot of the uh, Bullet going through the apple and you see you know all the particles. Yeah, and so there's th actually a way you could do that with just a normal camera Yeah, you can actually do those really high uh, speed shots super basically you have a flash set up to this little controller that, and you, you do a time, or a uh, long exposure, so you just turn off all the lights, and then you have, you know, the camera set up, and it's doing like a 10 second exposure. As soon as a sound happens, like a gunshot or something like that, 10 milliseconds later, or however you time it, it hits the flash, and then you just have everything frozen in time. It's a very interesting uh, type of technology. I've been meaning to do it, I haven't had a chance to yet. Yeah, probably your neighbors won't appreciate the bullet going through there. Well, okay, I'm not going to use it with motion, bullets, but yeah. a lot of people motion. do it with people do it with everything from you know like uh, dropping wine glasses to just bottles. To, uh -huh. It's it's really really interesting stuff. Yeah, fascinating, it's fascinating, <laughs> absolutely fascinating. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we'll hope that the. By the way, our shows all of next year will be a lot more interesting. You've been watching X3.